Okay, so IER modding team have just released a early version of their Corvette DP for Assetto Corsa, and this is dun, 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 the first uh, independent mod car uh, in the game. That's a that's a fully fledged car. Now, as I said, it's it's um, not a final version, and they've even said that they're on. Um, they've not set the level of details up, and uh, the car model itself might not be final. Uh, well, it isn't final because it's an early version. So let's see how this handles and sounds and drives and all that luck. But I'm really excited to already see um, a mod car in a set of Corsa. And uh, look at this model already. It just look it looks fantastic. You can see that they're probably going to put more detail. It looks like um, I think they even said this is the, even the external models the not the final mesh in terms of detail. But look, it looks fantastic. Let's jump in the car. Okay, they've definitely not finished modelling the interior of the car yet, but in fairness, it looks better than a 90s sim game already. We're on the right hand side of the cockpit, the engine sounds good. Let's go. Force feedback seems nice. I like how the engine, the revs. That seems pretty good already, first corner. Adjust the microphone so I can breathe. Don't know if it'll stick, yeah. But already it feels a lot like the uh, GT cars, GT3 cars that are already in this Etta Corsa. The, the engine is really nice, the engine noise actually sounds like it's um, behind me. Which is cool. The shifting sounds as well, really nice. It seems like a really stable car to drive. He says, <laughs> "Good driving it around the back." Okay, you can't take that much liberty with it. It does have a limit. It definitely feels. Like an Assetto Corsa car. I don't know how much work they're going to do to the physics still. It, it feels nice though. It, do, it doesn't feel like it's, uh, you know, it doesn't feel broken or anything. It's really interesting to see with the Assetto Corsa. I don't know how much freedom uh, modders have with the cars in terms of how much how much difference a car can be from just what they do to it outside of without programming basically because in games like R Factor and R Factor 2 the cars can be literally night and day I mean you have mods for R Factor 1 and it could be a different game the cars literally feel completely different I mean compare GameStop car to other cars in R Factor 1 Fundamentally, they're using the same technology, but the cost, it feels like a different game. The seems really nice. It's, uh... Oh, doesn't like going over the bumps like that. It's really glued to the track. Um, loads of grip. I'm just using the default itself. I'm just going to go with the default. I'm not fiddling with anything. Seems it, it's set up by default to be uh, more understeery than oversteery. I'll try to take a bit more. This next lap I'm gonna... I, I do one more clean lap actually and then I'll throw it around a bit and see what you can get away with. I'll, the force feedback in this head of course is working fine with this. You can feel you know, when I'm sliding, why I'm sliding, if I'm on the threshold of the brakes, all the required details are coming through. So that's fantastic. This is the first mod car. I mean, if this car had a finished model, it, you wouldn't you wouldn't think, oh, this is a mod. You'd think this is a, a quality car. I said, on the face of it, I mean, you never know. You, you mean, there might be some random issue with it that you start noticing when you're really pushing on the limit. 
But on the face of it, this, this looks like a really nice car. It drives and handles really nice. It's quite it's at high speed. It's gluing to the, the road nicely there. As I was going through those, over those bumps, the uh, the car was very much just sticking to the road, and you can see the model. Uh, I've I've got the camera movement locked to the car, so it's all very. I'm shaking with the car. But at high speed there, you could tell a real difference with how the car was hugging the road, which is nice. This seems awesome! <laughs> was not expecting it to be this good. I mean, if all mod cars can be like this, and they put the graphics into it as well, the into the car model, AC is going to be an absolute treat. Let's throw it about a bit on this next lap. Oh, this sounds are really good, actually. Whoever, whoever did the sounds, I wonder if they're a new sound or there's a little bit of crackling to it, and it's not 100% perfect, but really nice grunty engine. So you can ignore the other aspects of it. I don't think it's got the same. The underbody sounds, uh, like with, with a lot of the, the cars in a set of Corsa, there's a really nice bassy sound for the, what sounds like a dirt hit in the bottom of the car, or just the suspension, and all those extra car details, which really pull you into the cars. I don't think this has got that same... Uh, no, yeah, you can't hear it. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yeah, this is lacking the the sort of car body sounds if that makes any sense that the uh, cars in AC have got but obviously this is early I'm sure they can add them in or if, if, if anyone else wanted to you could just copy the files over from the other cars in AC because they're, they're sort of generic sound effects this is really good let's uh, throw it around a bit and see how much let's see if we can really take liberties with it. <laughs> it's a bit of a drift in a race car. Oh. It is really stable. Oh. <laughs> it's ramping up the kerb. Nice how the car fell back down then. You often find sim cars when you hit the kerb in roll over as if there's no gravity on the moon. Throw it around here. It has loads of controllability. You really can. You really can throw it around into the wall. <laughs> it definitely has a, a really sort of tight envelope of comfort that I think you're going to want to keep it in when you're actually racing. Which makes sense for this type of car. I assume that's what they're like in real life. Never going to drive anything like this in real life, so I don't particularly care. If it lines up one to one to the real car, it's more about if it's just fun and generally acts as you'd expect this sort of car to act. Go back to driving properly. Oops, too much speed through there. Put the throttle on. Yeah, the, the back does come out on the throttle, which is really, really progressive. Uh, there's plenty of warning, very controllable. And it's very easy to keep the uh, back under your control, and essentially drift it out of corners, which is fun. <laughs> Going into all these corners too hot. This is going to be another one of the cars where I think people that think the set of course is too easy are going to go, oh, it's too easy, it's too easy, I'm not playing this, it's too easy. Uh, definitely seems like a really intuitive car to drive and it is very easy to control, but it's also very fun. And I think when you get a car that's like this, that's controllable, it's easy to keep on the track and drive to a basic level, but it gets really hard to put in a top lap time because obviously it's easier for everyone it really sticks at high speed that's really impressive 
I don't know what a set of Corsa has for its uh, simulation of downforce or how it calculates it. That'd be interesting to speak to the developer and ask them actually. You can feel the steering uh, shake when you start to understeer as well, which is nice. Okay, that's way past the break point. Well, I'm, I'm really impressed. I'm going to finish after this lap. Actually, I do one lap of trying to actually full out drift. But I'm, I'm really impressed. All this just needs is the model updating. The sound just needs a little bit, uh, needs, like the bodywork sound effects, I think, adding in properly. And uh, the engine has a little bit of crackling to it, which I'm sure, you know, it's a really simple fix. A bit more grunt would be nice, but it's, it's fantastic, really. I mean, you're getting stuff like this for free, you can't complain. It's, oh, you got to watch out for the bumps, though. Okay, let's do some absurd driving. Oh, you have to be fast if you're throwing it. It really does want to snap back really quick, this car. Oh, no, that's too much. Yeah, I think it does a quite a tight envelope of operation before you really, the car, won't take any more, which is what you'd probably expect of this sort of race car. They're not designed to be drifted around like a buffoon. It, the bite back as well from the recovery is really fast. Oh, come on, come on. <laughs> it's really hard to keep it in a slide and recover it. But, uh, I mean, it doesn't matter. For the type of car it is, it's got the dynamics where you need them. If you're, you know, if you're doing a fast lap, you can still power out of a corner, correct it on the power. Utterly fantastic. And everything in the set of Corsa is so good. Just for pure entertainment of handling cars, it's an amazing piece of software. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Power through this one as well. <laughs> so much fun. Well, that's that. That's the. Uh, I forgot its name already. It's got some ridiculous name. Um, the Corvette DP. I'll draw your own conclusions about the DP there, but really good mod car they obviously just need to finish the car model tweak the sounds a tiny bit uh I'm, they're probably still adjusting the physics but that is really impressive the first mod car or proper mod car in a set of Corsa, uh amazing i uh, really really can't say any more so download it uh you might want to wait for later versions but you know it's free um really good fun just just download it uh send uh, an email to the to the modding team i-e-r modding um, I'll, I tell you, I'll put a link in the um, in the comment of the video so you can check it out. Really good job, guys! Fantastic and complete free. It's unbelievable. Sim racing community just throwing content at sim racers. Right, goodbye.